Heyo, in this video I'm going to show you the full process on getting PSM games on your PC using the PSM Simulator or, if, or Emulator if you like to call it that. But really it doesn't actually emulate anything, it's just a, it's basically just a PSM runtime for Windows. But, um, so I'm going to show you how I've shown a few other videos, I've had games running inside the PSM Simulator. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I do that. Okay, now the first thing you need is you actually need to get the PSM Simulator. Now, PSM Simulator is powered for PSM SDK. So, if you go link in the description, it will take you to this page and you just wanna download the PSM SDK. And you wanna download the latest one, so 2.00. This is the latest one Sony ever released, and you just wanna download that. Okay, and then while that's downloading, you want to install. Um, some plugins on your Vita. Now you do need a hacked Vita in order to get the games. You don't need to necessarily to run them, but in order to get the games in a usable format on the on the PC, you do need a hacked Vita. Um, if you have PSM games already and you don't have a hacked Vita and they're not backed up, um, I would really highly recommend going and doing that, and also putting them on MPS for us, you know, that way everyone can play them. But anyway, it's a topic for another day. Um, so once you get this downloaded, then we want to download the plugin Fuck PSSE. And again, the link in the description, but essentially, um, it's just on my pay on my Bitbucket page under Fuck PSSE. Okay, and then here it is. And what this is is essentially to decrypt PSM games, because the PSM simulator will only work on decrypted games. It won't work on encrypted games. So all you want to do is just head over to downloads and download Fuck PSSE version 1.1.subwix okay and now that you've got all that um, you essentially want to take this file and just rename this to just be fuck pssc.subwix basically and now you want to go on your ps vita so on your ps vita you want to open vita shell alright and then you want to open an FTP server. Alright. Now from here, you want to connect to that FTP server. So do that in Windows 10. There's a really easy way. You just use this. And you go FTP, come into F-192, and type in what you see. You can also use USB, but I'm not doing that because I'm using USB to stream the via screen. So, yeah. So, there we go. On so now you just go over to UXL tie, you know, it's not like any other plugin. So basically what you want to do is you want to take fuck PSSE and copy it. Copy that. And then you want to edit config.txt. So I'm just gonna copy that off, edit this, and you wanna put this under style all. Okay? So under style all you want to do UXL tie slash Fuck PSSE.subwix. Now, it's something that's very important. While this plugin is enabled, you won't be able to run PSM games at all. Anytime you run a PSM game, it will immediately jump into decrypting it. But we want it decrypted, so we have to run PS Fuck PSSE. So we shall remove it again if you don't be able to run the PSM games normally. Okay, so then we'll close out of that, copy this back over into the thing, and then just refresh your config.txt from settings, which I won't be able to show properly here because it won't actually work because UVC, UVCDs, UVC doesn't work properly in settings app, but I basically just want to go hang out with settings and then Rio tie hand config TFC. Alright, and then just goes off that. Now that you've got that, you then simply want to start the game. In my case, I'm going to be decrypting Emil's task because it's actually a really cool game. And um, I haven't got my PC yet, and I kind of wanted that. So all you need to do is just start it, all right? And then you will see the PSM game screen like normal. And then after a few seconds, you should see a red screen. If you see this red screen, this is normal. This is fuck PSSC working. All right, and then the screen will eventually go green, depending on the size of the game. Depends on how long this will take. But basically, all fuck PSSE really does is it takes over the application that's yielded and replaces it with its own, 
that just instructs you to decrypt every single file in the game and write it to temp. So as you can see now, it's got the green screen, which means this is done. So now I can exit out of this and close out of the game. Now it's very important you don't start any more PSM games until all this is done. And let's see you want to open up Vita Shell again. And what you want to do, actually before you do that, you want to take note of the game's title ID. Now on Dex, you can just go information and it'll pop up right there. Um, but if you're on Kex or any other, any normal firmware, then just find it in P and UXO PSM or look it up on MPS or something. Um, it's not too bad. But anyway, so I now know where to find this is under 1, 2, 6, 7. And under LW temp, you will see all these files here. This here is the decrypted game inside this LW temp folder. Because like I said before, all fuck PSSE does is it reads out the decrypted file is it reads out the encrypted files and writes them all to LW temp. So yeah, and if you want to check, you can just click on app info and then scroll right down. And we'll see here. Is this project name Sweeper? Um, and if you scroll through here, you should be able to see like a bunch of information about it, like um, encourage games. You know, that's people who made it. Um, if we scroll up, like, there's like a bunch of information here, it tells us it's available on PS Vita TV. Um, yeah, if you want to actually get this in a readable format, you could use my, um, CXML decompiler. But, um, I know this is the right game, so, um, just exit out and then start up an FTP. And now back on the Vita, I'm going to go back into here, into UXO, um, PSM. All right, and then it was 067 RW temp. All right, and all these files here. I'm going to copy this temp folder. Okay, and I create a new folder here. You can really put this anywhere. I'm just going to call PSM games, and then inside that folder, I'm going to paste. All right, and then it's going to copy every single file from the console. Alright, now you will effectively done on the Vita side of things. You can just close out and turn off your console or whatever the hell you want to do. Um, because you're done with that part. So now on your PC, you want to rename this file temp to application. Like that. And then you want to create a new folder in here and just name it like the name of the game. So MO's task. And you want to take this applications folder and you want to paste it in here. And then you want to create a folder called documents and create a blank folder called system. Okay, and there you go. And then in here you've got application. Okay, and then once the PSM SDK finishes downloading, which does take a while, but I have it already downloaded because um, I am amazing. So, um, yeah. Uh, SDK, I already have this in downloaded right here, so I'm just going to cancel this and just run this one. I actually have it already installed, but it doesn't matter. So, basically what you want to do is just want to install the PSM SDK um, version 2.00. Okay. And then go, yes. Alright, and um, I'm just going to say, yep, install, 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 and then install the SDK. You don't need to do anything with the SDK, you just need it installed. And then inside the SDK is the PSM simulator, which I'll show you all how to use to start up the game. Alright, if you see this message pop up, you don't actually need the PS Vita USB driver for the SDK, but if you plan on using anything, then you may as well. Alright, and once it's done, you just want to click finish. And you should, um, this message, this window should pop up in Chrome. Um, just close out of that, you don't need it. Um, and all we want to do now is head over to percent SCE PSM SDK. Like that, and then hit enter. And then inside there, you've got target, win32, psm.exe. 
Now all you need to do is take your PSM games folder, alright, your Emerald's task folder, and you want to take, go into application and app.exe, and you want to drag and drop app.exe onto PSM.exe. And then, bam! As you can see, the game is working perfectly on PC. As you can see, I'm in the game. Um, the button control is a bit weird, but it works. And it's completely playable. Anyway, that's enough of that. So now say you want, instead of having to drag and drop the app.exe onto, um, onto psm.exe every single time, say you want to have a one-kick button that will just launch the game. Well, to do that, you can go new shortcut and then simply browse to... Um, and then simply all you want to do is just browse to... Uh, the PSM like exe file, which is in C colon um, program files SCE PS PSM um, target PSM exe. Okay, and then all you gotta do after that is open up the path to after exe and copy paste that and edit this and put it after put that after the thing right and then you can save and you can rename this to whatever you want like emos task All right and now when you start that boom you get the game instantly so yeah, that's how I do my PSM on PC. Um, thank you all for watching this. Hope this has been helpful for some people who have been wondering how this works. Thanks you all for watching. Goodbye.